Welcome back to Biosignaling on Catalyst University. My name is Kevin Tokoff. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for future videos and notifications. In the previous video, we discussed the canonical Wnt signaling pathway, which is going to be an important pathway in developmental biology. In this video, we're going to discuss the basics of notch delta signaling. And much like the previous video, we're not going to discuss the functions of what happens in cells when you have notch delta signaling because the effects depend on the cell, the stage of developmental biology, the organism even. So we're just going to talk about the biosignaling. And you can take that signaling and do whatever you want with it depending on the organism. All right, so in notch delta signaling, here are the basics. So we have a protein called delta, okay? And we have a protein called notch. Now, there are two cells here. This isn't like a double membrane. These are two different cells. The cell up here on the top, that's the plasma membrane of this cell, this is basically a donor cell. Um, in some texts, you may see it written a little bit differently, maybe not donor cell, but this is the cell that's going to be the effector cell. It is going to affect another cell. So the donor cell is going to exert an effect on another cell, and that other cell down here we could call the recipient cell. So in this case we could say the donor cell is going to have some effect on the recipient cell, or we could say the donor cell is going to produce some biological effect in the recipient cell. Okay. Now the donor cell expresses a protein in its membrane extracellularly called delta. Okay, um, and delta kind of situated in the membrane like this. Now, the recipient cell expresses notch, and there's a couple things I want to point your attention to. First of all, notch has three different general domains. It has an extracellular domain, so the ECD. It has an intracellular domain, ICD, and then it just has a transmembrane domain, which I don't have labeled here, but that's going to connect the extracellular and intracellular domains and also span the membrane. Obviously, it's a transmembrane domain, okay? And initially, um, the donor cell and recipient cell just may not be close enough or whatever, and the delta and notch are not going to be in physical contact with one another. But eventually, that donor and recipient cell, or cells, they're going to make physical contact, and really what that means is the delta protein from the donor cell and the notch extracellular domain of the recipient cell, those proteins are going to come in contact. Now, if you think back to what you've probably learned over and over again in biochemistry with proteins and maybe in cell biology, when two proteins come in contact with one another, it induces conformational changes in both proteins. But specifically, we're going to talk about conformational changes in notch. So when notch, the extracellular domain, binds to delta, it triggers conformational changes that span from the extracellular domain through the transmembrane domain and into the intracellular domain. I should probably make this uh, in the back. So all in all, the intracellular domain is also going to change conformation. And when you have all these conformational changes, it's going to st uh, stimulate some enzymes here, um, some of which exist on the extracellular side of the recipient cell, others exist on its intracellular side. And they're going to induce proteolysis, and they're going to clip the extracellular domain and the intracellular domain. Um, for example, one of the extracellular prote uh, proteases is a protein called ADAM. Um, there are others that will also do this job depending on the text that you read. But what ADAM would do is it will clip off the extracellular domain, and so you see that right here. We'll come back to that in a few minutes. On the intracellular side, there's two proteins. One is called gamma secretase. The other is called presenolin 1. And whenever you have the binding here and changes in conformation, it triggers activation of these two enzymes, which can then clip off the notch intracellular domain. So when the intracellular domain, or notch ICD, gets clipped off, here it is, it will then move into the nucleus of that cell. And you notice here now we have the notch ICD, and it's going to turn on notch target genes, and then the recipient cell here, now that notch is, is turning on notch target genes, you're going to have some biological effect. Okay? And again, we're not going to go into those effects because they're too broad, too widespread. You know, Many, many different things will be here for a week if we do that. But we just get turning on of notch target genes. All right, now that's mainly what we focus on here is the notch intracellular domain, but also the notch extracellular domain can also have some functions in the donor cell. For 
For example, the notch extracellular domain can actually be endocytosed or reabsorbed into the donor cell and it can have similar effects inside the donor cell and it would function much in the same way. It would act as a transcription factor, move into this nucleus of this cell and turn on um, some notch target genes that may be a little bit different because this is a different structure, uh, 3D structure, than the intracellular domain. So it's going to have different effects in the donor cell than the ICD would have in the recipient cell. But that's pretty much the basics of delta or, or notch delta signaling. The delta and the notch extracellular domain come in physical contact. This triggers conformational changes which activate both extracellular proteases such as ATOM and intracellular proteases such as gamma secretase and brazenilin 1. And that triggers the uh, clipping of the notch extracellular domain which will go and be reabsorbed or endocytosed into the donor cell and it can have some effects there but probably the more important thing for you is that the notch intracellular domain will then move into the nucleus of the recipient cell and turn on notch target genes which will have some biological effect. All right, so again, that's the basis of notch delta signaling. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned a lot. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. In the next video, we're going to discuss the same kind of thing, some of the basics of TGF beta signaling. So make sure to join us there. But please make sure to like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video. Thank you.